I'm Laura Nevala, working on the Lens, Lens team. And my Hack Week topic was to create a Lens extension to manage Docker, Docker containers uh, on Lens dashboard. Why to have this kind of extension? First motivation is that if, if you are running Docker desktop on, a, on your local machine, it actually consumes some resources. For example, without any significant workloads, it was consuming over five gigabytes of memory. And all, all Docker images are eating your disk space. As we all know, uh, Docker desktop is not free anymore for enterprise users. And we already have uh, Lens Spaces dev clusters that allow Kubernetes local development. So why not allowing Docker uh, application development as well? So what I did do is I, I created extension uh, for managing Docker resources. And the aim was to provide the same situational awareness as Lens is doing already for Kubernetes resources. Uh, and uh, my work relies on Yari Kolehmainen's great work. And, and that uh, allows uh, to connect dev clusters Docker socket remotely via tunnel connect component. Although my extension will work for any, any Docker uh, daemon connection. So you can use it with Docker desktop if you want. My extension, it, it allows developers to start from small, like when you are creating your microservices, you, you first focus on only those microservices, try to set up, set up and run those locally to see what is happening. And, and later you can evolve uh, to connect to connect that application to other other services that are running on your local Kubernetes cluster. So you can reuse the same images and resources and and and, and continue with Kubernetes. All right. So let's see what I did have. First, we can answer that I don't have any any Docker running on my machine. No, it's not there. And let's switch the lens. So I have a here running a managed dev cluster. So if you don't know what is it, it's, it's a managed Kubernetes cluster that I have only access to that. And to end user, it looks like very similar Kubernetes dashboard as, as other Kubernetes clusters. And my extension will add new new section to sidebar. Here we can see Docker and containers. So I have a couple of containers already there. And we can check that we have connection that Docker uh, socket from my local machine. So So yes, I'm able to connect to that Docker socket and it's reflecting the same, same data as, as we can see on the dashboard. And what this extension is, is doing, it will display uh, in real time all, all Docker containers and, and what is happening inside Docker daemon. So we can, for example, run new, new container like Redis, and it's appearing immediately on the dashboard. And we can see some, some uh, details of it. We can stop and other way interact with container. And we can try some more complex things like Docker Compose. So I have a 
project here uh, containing Docker Compose manifest. We can we can deploy these services. Yes, and we can see this on, on our dashboard. And since this service or container is publishing port, we can we can open the service locally. And let's reload a couple of times. We can see it's, it's increasing the counter. Let's try another one. I have other project called WordPress. And, and we can uh, deploy that as well. Yeah, it's running as well. And this is also publishing some port. So let's try it out. Yes, it's responding. So we are able to see this uh, container uh, output or service that is running inside container on a local host, despite it's, it's running inside a dev cluster in, in Amazon Cloud. And what is also a cool feature is that we can actually open this project in VS Code. And now, because this is opened from, from Lens dashboard, Lens is actually sharing the Docker connection to VS Code. So we can we can execute Docker commands here as well. So my VS code now is, is now commanding my dev cluster. And we have some other other functions like like enter in the in the container cell. All right, that was my quick demo. And what is still missing here? So uh, I have only implemented Docker container resources. There are other resources like volumes, network, and images. So those can be easily displayed on, on, on a Lens dashboard as well. And there is still some tweaks need to needed on, on Lens side to, to get this Docker thing work seamlessly, uh, but nothing major. So this is quite close to be a shippable extension. <laughs>